1944. Around the globe, nations stared in horror at the devastation of a second world war. But even as the battles raged, global leaders planned for a new era and a post-war organization for peace. Rotary International, long committed to global cooperation and peace, had been raising awareness of a United Nations, publishing articles and pamphlets to encourage the discussion. Finally, in June of 1945, the eyes of the world were on San Francisco as delegates from 50 countries gathered to sign the UN Charter. The Conference of the United Nations on International Organization is now convened. Even as they gathered, delegates read the headlines proclaiming the end of the war in Europe. At the invitation of the US Secretary of State, Rotary International sent 11 Rotarians to serve as consultants to the delegation from the United States. These included two past Rotary presidents, Alan Albert and Tom Davis. In fact, there were Rotarians and honorary members from around the globe, some as official delegates for their nations and others as consultants. Ezequiel Padilla, served as chair of the delegation from Mexico. Rotarian Carlos Romulo represented the Philippines and would later serve as president of the fourth session of the UN General Assembly. The Charter of the United Nations is a solid structure upon which we can build for a better world. History will honor you for it. There was a triumphant ceremony as representatives signed the Charter for their nations. Joseph Salem from Lebanon was just one of the Rotarians who signed the charter on behalf of their countries. U.S. Secretary of State E.R. Statinius was a signatory for the United States. He later described the invitation to Rotary International as a recognition of the practical part Rotary's members have played and will continue to play in the development of understanding among nations. Rotary's participation in the UN Charter Conference was just the beginning of a humanitarian-focused collaboration that continues. Today, with a vision they have shared since the beginning, the United Nations and Rotary serve as examples of global cooperation as they lead efforts to promote peace, development and world health.